Huh, mother just can't turn away. Behind us, our home. At least our childhood home, at least for the three of us. Burns behind us. And it's sometimes hard to let go. But unfortunately, we must. So yeah, we have left Lothering. All, actually, five of us. Ain't that right, dog? <laughs> I named my dog Mikey in, in Origins. I wonder why I haven't decided what I'm going to name him in this, but that's not going to be until later. So I want to show you guys the menu real quick. Character. So character pretty much here is where you can be able to determine how you level up your character. And also, here is something interesting. When I go to a character other than Hawk, other than my character, if I go to either Bethany or Carver, look at the bottom. You remember the approval system in Origins? Well, this time, it's not approval or disapproval. Instead, it is either friend or rival. And right now, my sister, Bethany, and I are pretty good friends. I mean, after all, we're both mages. I'm sure we both have experienced a lot of things together as mages growing up together. Whereas Carver, our brother, probably feels a little left out and, you know, probably being the odd child of the family and, you know, <laughs> probably the only kid who did not have magic. And I'm, I'm guessing he and I have a bit of a rivalry, somewhat. I mean, he, I mean, after all, we are brothers. So anyway, that is a little different. And what's more, it takes away the, the risk of a character leaving you. Because if you had enough disapproval for certain characters and Origins, they would just leave your party. They would just leave and you would never get them back. In this, you don't have to worry about that anymore. If, you know, even if you are a full rival, you don't have to worry about them ever leaving you. Because apparently, even if they're a rival, you can get benefits. So let me show you the various things here. In attributes, you got strength, dexterity, magic, basically a lot of the same stuff here. Now, for a, it, it really depends on what your character is. For my character as a mage, magic and willpower are essentially the only things that you mainly have to focus on. Partly because, well, well, I'll explain a little more on that later. And so here are some of the various different skill trees. Elemental, Primal, Spirit, Arcane, Entropy, Creation, Hawk. Same thing with my sister. And then with Carver, Two-Handed, Vanguard, Defender, Warmonger, Battlemaster. Various different uh, trees here. Tactics. Uh, yep. Behaviors, determine out character. Da, 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 da. So. Right now I'm as a damager, I guess. Or a healer. But uh, I would be like range, I would think. And I could be either of these, so controller support. Blah, 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 blah. Well, I mean, I don't have any other abilities other than Mind Blast, so I, there's really no point. Other than what, the only thing I really want to do right now is change this to any and make it where I, c I would summon my Mabari pretty much any time. Save. Uh, Bethany, she's apparently going to has Fireball, so I'll have her be a damager. Maybe I'll make my, my mage a healer. And he's an aggressive scrapper, so I'm good with that. Alright, so then, a qu inventory. Equip new weapons, armor, and accessories for each of your party members. Move to the junk category, sell them quickly in stores. To cycle categories. So right now I've got an apostate staff, apostate cuffs, robe, boots. Oh, I got health, po lyrium, and stamina potions, and stamina drought. At least they call them potions in this and not pulsuses. All right, so now let's see. Hawk's pinions, birth core, long bar blade, Ferelden man at arms issue. Huh. Okay, journal. Your journal displays a list of your current quest. Plot assist will appear for the quest marked as active. Find a way past the dark spawn horde, the destruction of Lothar. That's the main plot. Premium content. Oh my goodness, yep, here's all the different things that I can be able to pick up at some point, or do. Because this also counts towards actual uh, DLC quest stuff, but we're going to do that later on in the game. So just ignore that. The complete quest. Ah, yes, codex. Lore, characters, art of war. Let's see what it says about my character. 
the son of Neeks Hawk, the son of Malcolm Hawk and Leandra Amel. Neeks has lived in many places throughout Ferelden. His father was a mage. Ah, well, that explains how he's able to be a mage. Whose gifts were passed on, passed on, pa were passed on to, excuse me, easy for me to say, passed on to both Neeks and Bethany, Malcolm's daughter. Malcolm refused to submit himself to the Chantry's rule. He kept his abilities a secret and taught his children to do the same. Therefore, the family was constantly on the move to avoid Templar hunters. Ten years ago, the family settled in the village of Lothering, building a home on the outskirts and making a life where they wouldn't forever be on the run. Though Leandra worried constantly that the Templars would one day catch up with them, Malcolm's teachings were sufficient to keep them safe. He died three years ago, leaving Neeks responsible for the welfare of his mother and younger siblings. Ah, so both Bethany and Carver are younger than me, so I'm the I'm the eldest of the of the of the children. I'm the eldest of uh, the group. When the blight began, Carver enlisted in King Kalen's regiment, saying the horde spilling from the Kokari wilds meant their home home would be quickly overrun if the dark spawn were not defeated immediately. Neeks remained in Lothering to safeguard the family. Carver appeared on their doorstep almost a month later, exhausted and injured. King Kalen had been betrayed and slain at Ostagar, and the Horde was advancing on Lothering. Though Neeks and the others were making plans to leave, they fled their home before they were fully prepared. And it may still be too late. So that's a nice little intro about the backstory of your character and your character's family. So you can at least know who is who and what's going on and stuff. So our father was a mage and he passed it on to me and my sister. And I guess Carver was part of King Caelan's army at Ostagar. So there are tutorials there. And of course we know about Darkspawn. Okay, and the map. Yep, you can see here. Okay. All right, and yeah. So that's kind of what so stuff I'm gonna want to show you. Okay. So here we go. Milestones and Hawks Rise to Power. Yada yada yada. Ooh, items. Yep, it still glows if it has items. Oh oh. Rifles cause them to seek a target other than you. Whoa! Hey, stay away from our mother. Oh, I can switch between them. Huh. Oh, I leveled up. Okay, so here's how, what happens when you level up. So you level up when a character is fully spent on both attributes and abilities. So let's kind of even this out. One in magic and two in willpower. So it's 14. Both of them are 14. And then select a tree and then zoom. Hmm. I kind of want to build myself as a healer. So... Let's get heal. Get that text out of the way. Yes, I know. The 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 diamond icons are active abilities that I can put on my uh, quick bar or that are like singular abilities. Whereas the hexagon ones are sustained abilities uh, that keep, that stay on after I activate them. So like, so this here is like heal. Whereas this one, a heroic aura, it enhances the party's up to and bow for as long as it's most active. So it's a nice thing to do. So I think I'm going to, I'm not sure if I'll get these glyphs. I really don't care about those. I'll, I'll just probably get these. And I think then I would probably, so this is kind of, you know, focus on fire and ice. This looks like, ooh, rock armor, chain lightning, tempest, ooh. Spirit, arcane, entropy, nah. So there are various things you can wait, you can build up your character. So I leveled up, but my siblings didn't. So, oh well. Uh, nothing there. A dead refugee. A free man's staff. Whoops, whoops. No, I do not want to pick that. All right. So how does it compare? Inspecting items will show you detailed statistics. Da, 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 da. Okay, so I can either have a stat that does cold damage or fire damage. Right now, mine does cold does uh fire damage. What does my sister have? She has fire damage as well. Hmm. How's it look? Eh, 
Look at that. That looks silly. I like this one better. Looks better, and I actually don't mind the, the fire damage with it. Nothing else here? No. Alright. Moving on. Oh, another cutscene. Wait. Where are we going? Away from the Darkspawn. Where else? And then where? We can't just wander aimlessly. <laughs> Why not? So long as we wander aimlessly away from the Horde, I'm happy. Yeah, exactly. We can go to Kirkwall. Kirkwall? Well, that wouldn't be my first choice. There's a lot of Templars in Kirkwall, Mother. Oh, great. I know that. But we still have family there. And an estate. Ah. <sighs> Then we need to get to Guaran and take ship. Hmm. If we survive that long, I'll just be happy to get out of here. So my so my sister and I have been able to remain out of circles and remain apostates this whole time. Well, that was a quick battle. Oh! Other people that are fighting Darkspawn. Oh, it's a Templar. Look at that. You can tell by the shield. Oh, man! That Darkspawn got him in the back. Oh man! You Look at this woman! Oh man! That is a woman who can fight! She just punched that thing in the face like that on the ground and then it's like just uh, press the sword down on its head. Nope. Okay. Will you guys help them out? Why is it that I, the older sibling, has to do all the work around here? Hey Carver, what are you just stand there for? Help the help them out. Okay, there we go. Stop squirming, Wesley. You'll make it worse. Wesley. Apostate, keep your distance. Ah, uh, ever the temp vigilant the Templar. <laughs> Darkspawn and now a Templar. I thought they all abandoned Lothering. <laughs> The spawn are clear in their intent, but a mage is always unknown. Ah. The order dictates. Wesley. She's like, do you have to do this now? The order dictates. You want to go, pal? Dear, they saved us. The maker understands. Of course. Okay. I am Aveline Valen. This is my husband, Sir Wesley. We can hate each other when we're safe from the Horde. I was like, don't you... It's like, don't... St stay away from my sister, pal. <laughs> I can be an overprotective big brother at times. Can you be trusted? You're quick to offer your allegiance. Another blade between us and the Darkspawn? Yes, please. <laughs> so long as the Horde is their first concern. Yeah. My duty is clear, but that is for another day. If we are granted that opportunity. Okay. We will be fine. We all will. Okay. Why are you out here? A strange time to be hunting apostates. His fellows left with the Chantry priests. I was traveling to Denerim on business for the Order, but I had to turn south when I heard of Ostagar. Huh. Bad luck and judgment brought us together here before the attack. Tuh. The nice Templar has been convinced to postpone his hunt for illegal mages. So let's not dwell upon it, shall we? Wise girl. By the way, if you're if you're wondering about the the splatters of blood all over their face, uh there is going to be blood regardless, you know, there's no, you know, there's no way to turn it off. So, if that grosses you out or upsets you or anything, I I'm sorry, but you know, to me, not only is it, you know, does it make it look more realistic in terms of, like, yeah, you know, like, the the part there where she pressed the sword on that thing's neck. I mean, of course there's going to be blood there, and there's no way to turn that off. I mean, there might be a way to turn off the splatters there, but to me, it kind of, it would be silly, you know, that all of a sudden, oh, they're all completely clean. Not a single splotch or spot on them. That, to me, that just looks silly just looks we looks wrong Th this makes it look look a little more believable so how did you survive the horde for a while it looked like we were the only ones to escape the darkspawn we aren't free of them yet you didn't see ostagar this is just the start 
Huh. You were there. Yes, so I see So he was it there now. now. Third company, under Captain Varel. So she was there too. Then you saw how the whole of the army was defeated. We fell to betrayal, not the Darkspawn. Hmm. This arm of the Horde will not have the same advantage. Huh. He's gentle for a mage hunter. The wrath of the Templars is terrible indeed. <laughs> More so their wives. Ah. But as long as there is a greater danger, you and I have an accord. Okay, fine. Thank you, Wesley. For now, we move with you. North is cut off. We barely escaped the main body of the Horde. Then we're trapped. The wilds are to the south. That's no way out. Uh, not totally. If the options are south or die, I'll take my chances with south. Yeah. There's always a chance. Don't be, don't be so, that negative, Carver. It's all right, mother. We'll get out of this. Okay. Carver rivalry, Bethany friendship. Oh, they both leveled up. So yeah, I guess me and my brother have a bit of a rivalry going, whereas me and my sister, we really connect. Which makes sense. I mean, we are brother and sister, and we're both mages. Whereas, you know, Carver... Hmm. Yeah. Alright, uh, he's, he's mainly a two-handed warrior, since he had a, a big two-handed sword, so let's give him Mighty Blow. There we go. Okay. Herlock. Huh. And this Aveline is actually a party member now. She's a level 2 warrior, so she's a shield and sword warrior. You can tell with that uh, Templar shield that she has on, which is Wesley's shield. Okay, so we kind of have a tank now. Two mages and two warriors. No rogues yet. Hopefully we don't come across anything we need to pick pick a lock for. Ooh, look at that. I can... Did you see that? I was able to spin my staff around like, yeah, look at this. I'm like, woo! Hit him from long distance. Look at this. I love this. I can spin my staff around like that. Like, yeah, check me out. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All I can pretty much do is just regular attacks until I get other abilities, but look at this. I love that. I can spin it, spin it, spin it. Spin it. Spin my staff. Spin it around. You ready for anything? Oh. I'm sure there's more trouble to come. I just love this. <laughs> I think that's just awesome. Okay, so that's what Bethany says. Get your breath while you can. Aveline? Take point. I'll be rear guard. Alright. Keep an eye on my mom. Quick potions, yes, yes. Injury kits. Of course, of course. Ah! Archers. What? Guys behind us? Oh! Hey! Okay then. More. More. More? See, unless they're like really close, Mind Blast is kind of pointless. I really can't do anything with Mind Blast unless they're like attacking me up close. I don't have any long distance abilities really. Okay. Whoa! Look at that one tall guy there. An emissary apprentice. Whoa! They're behind us! Give this Harlock grunt. Like, stay away from my sister. More up there. Get him, guys! Look at that. Look at Carver going after him. Yeah. Up, oh, I leveled up again, and Quickly, so did uh, Abilene. We must press towards the wilds. Okay, hold on a second. What's over here? A dead refugee. Okay. Ah. 
I don't have any rogues to pick the lock of this. Ugh. Dead refugee. Kari Wilds. Oh, sounds like somebody else leveled up. Da 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 da. Kind of just. There we go. For any of you who really want to read that. Okay, so. Oh, look at that. All four of us leveled up. So let's go ahead and take the time to level up here. Uh, I'll give myself more magic and willpower. Alright, so now. I could give myself Heroic Aura. Hmm. Maybe I will do that. Okay, so Bethany. Let's give her more magic and willpower. Let's give her. Pyromancer. More fire damage. There we go. Carver. Let's give him. 17 strength. Uh, what's this? Radius 1 meter for two handed attacks. Yeah, why not? And Abilene. Let's build up your constitution since you're going to be a tank whenever I have you in the party, which is right now. Let's see. So she's got weapon and shield, and then the same ones that Carver's got. Ooh, Guardian. So she has her own unique tree that's only specific to her. So Guardian Aveline has outlived too many of those she's loved. Years of hard training and loss have shaped her into an immovable force and invaluable ally. So depending on whether or not she's a friend or a rival, you get different bonuses. If I end up with uh, with friendship for with Aveline, uh, verges on overbearing, damage transfer 10% from Hawk to Aveline. So she'll take more damage and is more resistant to damage. But if she's a rival, we don't have to put Aveline on her guard. Damage doesn't suggest for 10%. So, could okay, give her any of these, maybe. But for now, let's just give her Shield Bash. Okay. And right now, she's neutral. She's not a friend, she's not a rival, she's just neutral. Alright, so now, let's, uh, let me activate Heroic Aura. There we go. Increase the attack and defense of my team here. Let's go ahead and do a manual save. Look at this. I don't I saving is so much better in this one than it was in the other one. Um, are you two gonna follow? Oh, this is a pretty sight. Skulls on these uh, spikes here. What a nice what that's so nice. Uh oh, an auto save. Uh oh. Oh no, it's the ogre. So the ogre was true in Varric's story. Great. Make it give me strength. Oh no. <gasps> no! Bethany! Bethany! You're gonna pay for that. Uh, that one's big. Ow! finish this guy off first. There we go. He's done. Oh, great. Here come the dark spawn. That was for my sister. Wait, why is my dog knocked out? Get out of here. Bethany, Bethany, wake up. The battle's over. We're fine. Oh my I'm gosh, sorry, no. mistress. Your daughter is gone. No. no. These things will not take Bethany. Beth, my sister. <sighs> Bethany. Sorry, Mom, but this is this is not the time to mourn. We have to wait until later to mourn, to grieve for her. Maybe we should grieve when we're safe? Don't speak to me of grief. This is your fault. How could you let her charge off like that? I'm sorry. Oh, my poor little girl. My sweetheart. If we stand here weeping, the Darkspawn will take the rest of us too. 
Anthony. Allow me to commend your daughter's soul to the Maker, Mistress. Ashes we were, and ashes we become. Maker, give this young woman a place at your side. Let us take comfort in the peace she has found in eternity. My poor sister. I will never forget you, Bethany. Well, I've already lost my father. So, she won't be alone. They'll be to get there together now. At least father will have company now. Yeah. Flames. We're too late. Oh, great. More. We're gonna have to hold them off. Long enough for us to fight to get out of here. Mom, why would you run towards those those things there? Oh, cutscene. There's no end to them. Apparently not. Oh. Okay, so there was a dragon in in the in his story. Okay, so apparently this did kind of happen. Somewhat. What the? Uh oh. Oh! Two weeks of retirement! <laughs> well, that doesn't make sense, but I thought it was funny. Is the dragon helping us? Whoa! What? What in the world? Whoa! The dragon changed to a woman with horns. Well, well. What have we here? That voice. I know that voice. Flemeth? Is that you? Oh, great. What's wrong it with used Wesley? To be. We never got visitors to the wild, but now it seems they arrive in hordes. Yep. That's Flemeth. Interesting, though, that you are look a little uh, different since the last time I saw you. Last time I saw you were just a regular-looking old woman who then changed into a dragon, who I then defeated as the warden. Now you have long white hair, a different outfit, and you have horns coming out of your head. Why the change, Flemeth? Nice trick, by the way. Impressive. Where'd you learn how to turn into a dragon? <laughs> Perhaps I am a dragon. Huh. If so, count yourself lucky. The smell of burning darkspawn does nothing for the appetite. Oh, thanks. If you wish to flee the darkspawn, you should know you are heading in the wrong direction. Huh. So you're just going to leave us here? Huh. And why not? I, I kind of agree with her. Like, why would she not leave us? I spotted the most curious sight. A mighty ogre vanquished. Who could perform such a feat? Huh, so she watched But now her. my curiosity is sated, it. and you are safe for the moment. Is that not enough? <laughs> I want to be a dragon. You could show me that trick of yours. That looks useful. <laughs> <laughs> I dare say it is. Such a clever tongue for a mage. Thank you. Tell me, clever I pride tongue. myself on my clever tongue. How do you intend to outrun the blight? Hmm. We're going to Kirkwall in the Free Marches. Huh. Kirkwall? My, but that is quite the voyage you plan. Maybe our only option. So far, simply to flee the Darkspawn. Huh. We have family there? I think, uh... Oh, that's right, I think our mother is from there. That's right. She said we had family there and an estate. Hmm. Well, how far would you recommend? Any better suggestions? I hear the deep roads are vacant now. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Oh, you I like. Thank you. Hurtled into the chaos, you fight, and the world will shake before you. What? What does that mean? 
Is it fate or chance? I can never decide. Hmm. It appears fortune smiles on us both today. I may be able to help you yet. Uh, just like that? There must be a catch. Yeah. <laughs> there is always a catch. Life is a catch. I suggest you catch it while you can. Oh, Flemeth, you Should and your, your phrases. We don't even know what she is. I know what she is. The Witch of the Wilds. Yeah. Some call me that. Pretty, yeah, also kinda. Flemeth. Asha Bellinar. An old hag who talks too much. <laughs> <laughs> Does it matter? I offer you this. I will get your group past the Horde in exchange for a simple delivery to a place not far out of your way. Hmm. Would you do this for a Witch of the Wilds? Hmm. <laughs> if you caught that... She said that some call her Asha Balinar. If you remember in the Witch Hunt DLC from Origins, that is what Ariane called her. So I guess that is the elvish name for her, or what they call the elves call her. Of course, I loved the fact that she even referred to, she's like, yeah, some people even call me an old hag who talks too much. And part of me was like, yeah, I don't disagree with that. <laughs> that's that's uh, definitely what some of my guys... But my warden sometimes jokingly thought about her. Hmm. Uh. Why not go yourself if this is so important? You would go through all that trouble to have something delivered. I have an appointment to keep. Hmm. It is far more convenient this way. Happily, you are not without your own needs. I wonder if she's referring to when the warden actually fought her for the grimoire if she knew that the warden was going to fight her or was going to come back to her hut and meet her that could be what she was referring to when she says she has an appointment to keep hmm are you really a witch of the wilds what is a witch of the wilds exactly a chastened legend Witches that steal children. Bah, as if I had nothing better to do. Tuh. Then you're an apostate. Yes, we have so much in common. Yeah, I guess we do. <laughs> but yeah, I'm kind of like with the Flemeth there. I'm like, bah, like she has nothing else better to do. Uh, what would we be facing? How much trouble will this delivery be exactly? About as much trouble as my saving your lives, not five minutes ago. <laughs> well, yep, you got me there. Good point. <laughs> if you knew my daughter, you'd know how seldom I hear that. Oh, I do know Morrigan. Well, I do. Not Hawk doesn't, but yes, <laughs> there's no way Fl Morgan would say that. So, what do the rest of you guys think about this? Should we trust her? Wesley is injured. We'll never escape the Dark Spawn. If oh, you need to, I think he's more than I injured. Behind. Look at look at his no. neck. I said I would drag you out if I had to, and I meant it. Oh gosh, I think I know what's wrong. He's got the taint. You can just see it on his neck and in his eyes. Yeah, it's corrupting him now. We could always use more fire. Roast a few more darkspawn. I'll do anything you want. <laughs> Sadly. My charity is at an end. Oh, There is a shucks. clan of Dalish elves near the city of Kirkwall. Deliver hmm. this amulet to their keeper, Marathari. Hmm, that Do seems as simple she enough. Asks with it, and any debt between us is paid in full. Okay, no problem. Before that sounds I easy. take you anywhere, however, there is another matter. Oh, she knows about Wesley and the, and the taint. No. Leave she him can, alone. She, she can tell. What has been done to your man is within his blood already. Yeah, I can tell. You lie! She's right, Aveline. Yep, she I is, I can feel Aveline. the corruption inside me. Yeah, it's, it's too late for him. Of course, Hawk may not know what's, what they're talking about. What are you talking about? From the dark spawn. All that blood. I knew when it happened. And how much time before you? Not long now, if I am any judge. 
odd. I don't remember the taint actually happening this quickly. Usually it was a little longer, but, you know, I mean, I'm just saying, it's, it's pretty quick. It happened pretty fast, and that's all. I'm just saying. Sounds bad. This corruption is the permanent sort, I take it. Yeah, pretty much. The only cure I know of is to become a Grey Warden. Mm-hmm. And they all died at Ostagar. Not all of them. Not all. But the last are now beyond your reach. She's she's already helped the Warden and Alistair. Huh. Aveline, listen to me. You can't ask me this. I won't. Please. The corruption is a slow death. I can't. Hmm. Poor Wesley. I mean, the thing about Neex is he doesn't hate the Templars. He just wish. He just, um... He doesn't really feel that many ill feelings towards them. I mean, he just kind of wishes they would just leave him and his sister alone. Him and his family alone. He, he doesn't want to have to live in a circle. He wants to be able to train himself and teach himself to use his magic safely and without harming others but without having to be confined to a circle he wants to be able to do it amongst his own family i mean his he his father taught him and just you know his father only died three years ago so he and his sister you know he would much rather prefer to grow up amongst his father and his sister learning how to use his magic rather than in a circle so he's never really felt that may that kind of ill will towards templars Unless they, like, threatened his sister or such. But as far as... Up to this point, I don't think he's had that many kind of bad interactions with Templars. It's up to you, Aveline. He's your husband, Aveline. I can't decide his fate. Yeah. It's only... It's up to you. Be strong. My love. Probably is better to just save him from becoming a dark spawn. Poor Aveline. Ugh. <laughs> oh, can you imagine how difficult that must be for her? <laughs> Goodbye, Sir Wesley. Without an end, there can be no peace. Hmm. It gets no easier. I'm sure it does. Your struggles have only just begun. Huh. Flemeth. Huh. Meanwhile, back to I Cassandra that might and uh, you. this dwarf. You expect me to believe a myth swooped out of the wild to save the champion? Huh. Oh, come now, Seeker. Do I need to recite the tale of the Warden as well? <laughs> no. So he does Perhaps tell the tale I of the Warden. I shouldn't be surprised to hear of her involvement. I liked my version better, too. <laughs> what else aren't you telling me, then? Did she send someone with the champion? In a matter of speaking. So it's huh. true. Interesting. Continue. What could be you referring to? But if you tell to? me they all flew to Kirkwall on a dragon. <laughs> Nothing so fanciful. I assure you. Oh, that would... Darn it. That would have been the so cool. The witch kept her word and got them to Guaran, where they took huh. ship. So she, she took us to the docks to get on a ship. Sail we sailed north across the waking sea, last by terrible storms. <laughs> Very interesting way to, to show the story here. that dark hold, packed in with the fearful and the desperate. It's almost like watching a puppet show. And then they saw it. With these props. Kirkwall, the city of chains. Huh. Long ago it was part of the Imperium. Oh Slaves great. Coming from far and wide to work the quarries. Just where we want to live, a city that used to be part of the Tevinter Imperium. Now, it's a free city. But I use the word loosely. Tuh. It's somewhat free. Sail through those black cliffs and you'll see what the slaves of old saw. The gallows. Welcoming you. Oh, what a great sight to welcome you. The gallows. That's where their ship landed. With all the rest. Huh. Wonderful. We're home. <laughs> so this is our mother's hometown. 
remember in the bio it said uh or the profile there it said that uh me bethany and carver that we grew up in Lothering. we didn't grow up in uh, kirkwall like our mother did so this is going to be a new experience for me and my brother to go to our mother's hometown of kirkwall although bethany did say there are a lot of templars here so it could be a bit of an issue for me are we finally arriving Huh. Huh. Oh, I can't bear to look. I can't bear to watch. That's what those statues look like. <laughs> Surprised they don't have the, the statues that look like the, the monkeys of covering their eyes, one covering their mouth, one covering their ears. <laughs> that would have been really funny. You made it safely. They're not letting anyone into the city. Huh. What? There can't be. It's true. Look at them all. Oh, great. They're keeping everybody out. Are we really surprised? Everyone's fleeing the blight. Just as we are. And they huh. would throw us all back to the wolves. Unbelievable. That's totally believable. I'm only surprised they let us dock. Tuh. We need to find Gamlin. Our family has always been highly regarded in Kirkwall. He can do something, I'm sure of it. Let's hope he received your letter. Huh. The guards seem to be reporting to that man. Perhaps we should speak to him. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I got the plus ten friendship for Aveline because I told her that it was up to her to decide her husband's fate. So... So yeah, uh, when we come back, we will try and see if we can figure out a way to get into Kirkwall, since apparently they're not letting any more of the refugees from Ferelden inside. We gotta figure out how to get in ourselves. Stay tuned! <laughs>